Hi everyone, Ranger Kendra here with this week's session of Alaska Maritime National Wildlife Refuge's Virtual Science Lesson. So I'm excited to come to you today from our Learning Science Lab at the Islands and Ocean Visitor Center to share with you about a very cool and unique adaptation um, that is found in marine mammals. And just as a recap, marine mammals are those animals, are those mammals uh, that call the ocean home. So there are mammal, like mammals that live on land, so they breathe air, they have warm blood, they feed their young with milk, a lot of them have hair, um, but they, instead of living on land, they live in the ocean. So they have special adaptations on their bodies that help them to survive in ocean waters. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna look at one of their really unique adaptations and then show you how you can demonstrate that at home and shows just how well it works. And the adaptation we're gonna talk about today is one called blubber. And so blubber is unique to marine mammals and it's a really fun word to say, blubber. Um, and really it's just a thick layer of fat that is found underneath the skin of most marine mammals. And I have a couple sample models here with me. So marine mammals such as whales or pinnipeds such as seals, walruses, or sea lions, or even our polar bears. Really there's only one type of marine mammal that doesn't have blubber under its skin and those are sea otters. Um, but most marine mammals have this thick layer of fat called blubber underneath the skin that helps them to do a couple different things. One of the most important things about blubber or, or things that it does for those animals is help to keep them warm. It is what we would call an insulator. And so what it does is it helps to keep all their body warm around the inside of their body and so their internal organs. So it helps them to stay nice and toasty warm. It keeps all that heat inside their bodies. Uh, that allows these animals to live in really, really cold water such as the Arctic or the Antarctic. Um, another thing that blubber does is it also helps with their buoyancy or to help them float. So, because most fats will float on the water. Uh, it also helps with protection. Blubber can be anywhere from an inch up to almost a foot thick underneath the skin of different types of marine mammals. And that a lot of times is hard for a predator to get through. So their blubber actually is kind of like a layer of protection around their bodies. And then another really important thing that blubber does is it helps to store energy. There are some types of marine mammals, like some of our large baleen whales, like this humpback whale here, that goes on long migrations uh, during certain parts of the year. Um, and they'll travel for thousands of miles. And during that time, they actually don't eat. And so there's a lot of energy stored in their blubber. And during those long migrations, instead of eating, their bodies will use the energy in their blubber um, to help fuel them on their long journeys. All right, so now that we know how the adaptation blubber helps marine mammals to live in their cold ocean waters, um, let's look at a way that you can demonstrate how well blubber works right from your own home. Um, and this is what we would call a blubber glove. And blubber gloves are super simple to make um, I have a couple samples here with me. Uh, one that I have here completed in a bucket of ice water. So this bucket here is filled with cold, icy water. If I could tip it just a little bit, I don't want to spill it out, but I have all this ice and water filled in here. Um, and what you see sitting up here is a completed blubber glove. And so really it just takes a couple different simple items. One being two Ziploc plastic bags, some nice strong duct tape for the top, and then also one of the most important components or parts is what you would use as the blubber itself. And so with this experiment or this blubber glove, I use just regular shortening or Crisco that you would find in the kitchen um, so for, for cooking. Uh, you could also use lard or any other items such as that. Uh, but this works just like the blubber in a marine mammal. And the way that you make a blubber glove is, again, you have two Ziploc baggies, and you can use a gallon size like this one here, or you can use smaller sizes as well. I have another blubber glove in a sandwich size 
baggie here um, to show that you can use different sizes. It works just as well either way. But I first thing I did is I filled up my first baggie with lots of my Crisco. So I just scooped it right out and tucked it right down inside there. And then until it's nice and full, then you want to take your second plastic bag of the same size that you're using. So I have a second plastic bag here, a Ziploc baggie. And then very simply, you just take this baggie and kind of just shove it down in between, using your fingers to kind of work it in there, in between the Crisco and your first bag. until So that you have this nice layer so that when you test your blubber glove, you don't get that Crisco or you that that fat all over your hands. That's a nice layer of protection there. So you just get it tucked down in there. Once you have it where you like, you just take your tape and you lay the tape and make a nice seal all the way around both layers of your the top of your baggies. Once that's done, your blubber glove is complete. And then you can test it to look at just how well blubber works. And I actually have some thermometers set out here to demonstrate just how well blubber helps to keep these marine mammals warm. So I have three different thermometers sitting here. One is sitting on my table and it is taking the temperature of the room, which is showing it's about 70 degrees inside the lab classroom. Uh, and so we're sitting at 70 degrees. And then I'm also going to, I have another one sitting directly in the ice water on my, in my bucket. And so if I take this out and look to see what temperature my ice water is reading, it is sitting at about 32 degrees. And so it is right at freezing. Uh, and then let's check out what temperature my blubber glove is at. So we're going to look at the nose blubber glove has been sitting in this ice water for probably about 30 minutes now. Um, and if we look at it, remember the temperature of the room was about 70 degrees. This is sitting at about 64 degrees. And so even though it is right at freezing inside my ice water, that blubber within the blubber glove was able to keep the inside of that glove nice and warm. So it's sit sitting at 64 degrees. So again, you can demonstrate at home just how well blubber works for these marine mammals by having these simple items. All you need are a couple thermometers, a bucket of ice, Ziploc baggies, and some shortening or fat to fill into your blubber glove. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed learning about this special adaptation of marine mammals today. I hope to see you again next time for our next virtual science lesson. Have a great day and we'll see you again. Bye.